What's up, YouTube? Oop, oop. It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. I know a lot of people watching my videos for the first time after hearing that, they're like, what the hell? I am clicking off of this video, and they probably just clicked off the video. If you are that person and you did not click off the video, Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, so I just wanted to make another video. I haven't made a video like this in quite some time where I just respond to comments. I know a lot of people leave me comments and they really want me to respond to them, but I just get so busy sometimes, so I don't. And now that I have a little bit of time, you know, I could just easily just go through each comment and respond via typing. But I want to make it a little bit more creative and a little bit more fun. So I'm going to personally respond to these comments that I have chosen and give you guys a voice response. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Okay. So the first comment that we have here comes from Mike Mysterious. He says, call him Barry. Barry the bluegill. So what he's referring to is my bluegill that I just caught. If you guys haven't seen the video of me catching this guy and setting up his aquarium, make sure that you do that. Link is down in the description down below. And I think that's a cool name, but I actually already chose a name for him and I'm going to call him Gilly the Kid or just Gilly for short. Uh, Barry was a good name too, but I just felt like Gilly was a better name because it's a bluegill. So, Gilly, Gilly the Kid. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to agree with that name, but personally, that's the name that I like. It's a good name that I can vibe with. All right, all right, all right. Next comment we got here is from Reese Cooper. He says, Master Aquatics in my ass. You don't even know the basics. Mong. I don't know what that mong part was for, but, you know, everybody has their opinions. People can say whatever it is that they want to say. And and Reese, hopefully you come back to another video of mine and you say something positive. I'm looking forward to hearing from you again. Thanks for that view, Reese. I really do appreciate it. You have a good day, brother. All right, next comment that we have here comes from Marvin. He says, Is it okay to have snails in your tank while you're braiding angelfish? I'm sorry, but it's just whenever someone types in all caps, that's just the voice that, ap that just appears in my head. So... To answer your question, Marvin, yes, you can have snails in your breeding tanks. I've never done it personally. I'm not a fan of snails because a lot of them re reproduce really fast. And they, sometimes they create more problems than they solve. So I stay away from snails completely. But they shouldn't bother the fish at all. Um, I don't think they'll have any effect whatsoever on the capabilities of the parents taking care of their babies and breeding and spawning so you should be fine in that department okay next comment comes from my buddy harold he says ebay that's a joke lol i ordered a fish from ebay one time and he was dead on arrival so that's one of the downsides and one of the cons of getting angelfish shipped out to you because you will get that shipment one day where you open up a box and it's just a box full of dead fish floating in bags and it's unfortunate you know I've had it happen to me um, I've also had where I've shipped out fish and they were dead on arrival for the customer that I was shipping them to and sometimes it's not you know the shippers fault you know sometimes fish they just can't handle the stress and they die but don't let that deter you from buying fish online because you can find some of the coolest looking fish online you can find exactly what you're looking for you just got to be willing to take the risks and sometimes there's not even a risk involved because a lot of sellers nowadays they really want you to come back and buy from them like me so I put a you know refund policy in place you know if it's not your fault that the fish died then I'll, re I'll refund you um, I sold my fish on eBay and nine times out of ten I would refund you the only time I wouldn't refund you is if I feel like you waited too long to let me know that there was something wrong with the fish that I gave you and that was the only time I wouldn't refund you because after 24 to 48 hours you know the fish is in your hands so it's your responsibility to make sure that they are healthy and good from that point on I've done my job of delivering the fish to you and when I delivered them to you they were at a hundred percent 
Okay, so next comment, Rob says, Be right back, I'm gonna spend $30 on shipping instead of buying a $1 Neon Tetra at Petco. I laughed when I read that the first time, and I thought, that's that's a really funny comment. I understand why some people would think that way when they're buying fish and it's being shipped out to them. Shipping is very costly for fish because it, you need a lot of good packing material, and you know you just got to make sure the fish are alive you know, during their trip. So that's why it's a little bit more expensive and it takes a lot of work and you know there's a lot of uh, risk involved when you're shipping out fish so that's why it's always so expensive. So sometimes sh paying the shipping cost is worth it in the long run. You just got to make sure that you really want the fish that you're paying shipping for. Um, more than likely it's going to be a fish that's not available locally around you. Alright next comment comes from 29 he says salmon not salmon. Who are you, you monster? Hey man, I'm sorry I made a pronunciation mistake. Okay, it happens to me. Okay, I am not perfect. I am human, just like you, my friend. I'm sorry. It will never happen again, Mr. 29. I promise. Master of Angelfish says, So my angelfish pair just spawned. Is it okay to leave the light on, or will they eat them? It really depends on your pair. I always leave the light on because most of the time from personal experience when the lights are turned off the eggs get eaten regardless if the parent if it's just the parents that are in there or if it they are in a community tank so I suggest that you leave the light on okay snow says what were you on when you made that intro so in case anybody wants to know what he's talking about here's the intro so I made this intro because I thought it looked really cool in my opinion. I really liked it, but I guess other people disagreed with it, and that's okay. I'll have more edits in future videos, and hopefully they turn out ten times better than the intro that I just showed you guys. Alright, next comment comes from Razine Parvez. Razine says, I've got a question. My angelfish keeps cleaning the slate, but they are not laying eggs. They are cleaning for over a week now. What do I do? Razine, I would just leave the angelfish alone. If they want to lay the eggs, they will lay the eggs. If not, they're not going to lay the eggs. They're really picky when it comes to what they're going to breed on, at least for most angelfish. I would just give them time and just let them do what they feel is comfortable and best for them. Santy Pansy says, My fish isn't eating, and I got it from PetSmart. Okay, well, if your fish is not eating, you want to make sure that it doesn't have any internal parasites or any sickness. Um, check to see if it has any white spots on its scales or body. If there's white spots, I would treat it with some medication. Um, check your water parameters. Maybe your water is not doing so good. You can get some test strips at PetSmart. Um, they're kind of costly, but you know, if you want to save your fish, I would definitely invest in those. Um, I can't really tell what's wrong with your fish unless I look at it, but definitely take some steps to uh, see what's going on with your fish. Alright, Jesse says soon he will be more aggressive and active, and he's referring to my new bluegill that I just got. So if you guys want to see the video of me catching that fish, you guys can check out the description down below. I'll have a link to that video. And he has been more aggressive, and especially during feeding time, he's eating a lot more. I really enjoy watching this guy eat. It's really fun feeding him worms and minnows and feeder fish. Um, and I can't wait to move him to his new home pretty soon. I'll be sure to make a video on that for you guys. But in the meantime, let me know if you guys would like to see updates on him. And again, don't forget to check out the video of me catching him. Link is down in the description down below. Aleem says, you deserve more subscribers. I really do appreciate that, Aleem. Currently, as of right now, at the time of this recording, I have this much subscribers. And I just want to say I never thought I would have this many subscribers. But I still don't feel like where I'm at right now is where I need to be. So I just want to continue growing and um, appreciating the support that you know everybody's been giving me for watching my videos. But hopefully one day I hit 100,000 um, and hopefully soon. But I can be patient if I need to be. 
All right, David says, why do you keep buying brand new stuff? There are so many deals on fish tanks sites such as Craigslist. Well, the thing is, is that I don't want to buy a used aquarium because I don't like taking the risk of getting a leaky tank. And I really just don't want to deal with that. To be honest, I'd rather wait until Petco does their dollar per gallon sale and then I'll get my aquariums when that happens. Okay, next comment. Carla says, what do you do with so many fish? Well, like I said, I'll, I breed them. I'll, you know, sell them. And that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing else to do with, you know, having a bunch of angelfish other than to sell them or um, give them away at some point. But, you know, some people will like to breed fish because it's fun and it's something that they like to do. It's, it's a part of their hobbies. So a lot of people will raise fish for different reasons and me, I want to raise fish so I can eventually sell them. Alright, so it looks like that's all the comments for today. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. Share my videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye bye.